Hey everyone, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So this game came out really out of nowhere. Was launched on October 27, so that's roughly four days from uh, from the official launch. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you guys my first impressions of the game. Been playing it since the first day. I didn't have the time to put out anything, so let's jump right into it. So. The stars of this game are obviously um, the sinners, so they are fugitives. And this game kind of feels familiar. It's like the suicide Suicide Squad. So we're gonna be we're gonna be hiring or or arresting sinners and uh, bringing them to fight for us or for the chief. So that's the concept basic of this game. The UI for this game is pretty much very, it's kind of cluttered in a way, but once you get used to it, you'll know all of the placements, where to go, what to do first. But before that, let's go over all of the sinners that uh, we have so far. So I have from B, rarity to A, to s rarity again this game you can really use up to the lowest rarity of uh, b they are you know um the game is not really built on the most powerful sinners so it's they're gonna be you're gonna be using or from the start at least or up to the mid game you're gonna be using a lot of B's and A's, and there are B's and A's that are gems in this game. Um, starting off with Labyrinth, EMP, they're the best to start. Level them up. They have you can, the, the copy. Their copies are going to be abundant in this game, so you better start leveling them up and using them. Ariel is actually good for level A. For level A, Wendy, Hecate are tremendous. You can use them. If you like this art style, this game is going to be for you. So again, use the low rarities. Um, they're, they are good to go. And you won't have a problem progressing through the game using them. I've been using both um, EMP and I used Demolia actually before. Um, here as one of my defenders kind of but if you if I mention defenders they have a different type of uh, description of what the classes are so have Endura the defenders furry is a um, furry is actually a, a type of uh, sinner that you can redeploy and attack near your enemy far and the way your Umbra is kind of your um, your warrior type. Fury, F Fury, Fury, Fury is your assassin type. Reticle is going to be your your range type. Arcane is your mage type with AOE and um, high explosive damage dealing. And Catalyst is your, going to be your healer. So th th those are the classes in general. So anyway, let's go back to the main menu and uh, let's go next to Bureau. So this is going to be your office. Um, this patch system is going to be here to get more, more um, resources. Archives is going to be here. So your archives is, will give you additional resources. This will pertain to the collection of your sinners depending on the group. So the more sinners you collect, Definitely, you'll be getting more resources. Then the last part would be the interrogation. This part, I was actually surprised to see the backstory of each of not 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 each of them right now. But I already tried some of them and finished the interrogation for uh, Chelsea, uh, Ariel, and ninety nine. So. One tip, one one other thing, 99's backstory is a bit creepy, so just uh, take my word for it when you see her backstory. So again, very, very interesting on how they were able to kind of um, tell the story 
for each of them through interrogation. So that is it for your bureau. Next, we're going to be going to this city. So this city is roughly your um, main story component. So here you'll be able to farm progress through the story. The story of this game is also very interesting. Um, if you don't rush through it, read through the story for every stage that you go through. Um, the rust here is going to be your farming stages for the resources that you need. And uh, I went out. So <laughs> this C here, you have two content right now. One is Oblivion Pit. Okay, so kind of your tower stage. I cannot enter because I don't have any currency yet. But again, back to the explanation. Um, the tower stages have different, as you can see, um, stages here. So for each number here, there is around five to seven stages that you can complete. Then once you unlock it, the next one, uh, because of your progress, then you could go down that uh, it's more of a going down the rabbit's hole than more of a tower and the last one is broken front line so the broken front line is a boss with escalating difficulty so there are different bosses and op and they are open roughly on different schedules so you'll also be getting a lot of resources here to claim for the game and that is it. Going to Arrest. Arrest is basically your summon system. So I'd like to summon at least one ten pull for, for Zoya here. Let's do one. So as you go through the summon system, um, if you don't skip this, you have to drag this one and look for them. Look for the sinners that you see here as you can see there that is gold already but you have to finish all of it for it to open and i think we're good there you go so let us skip this okay there you go that is the yellow one that we're looking for. So another copy for Zoya for my collection. Again, the artwork for this game is on point or even beyond on point. I am liking it and I hope you guys like it as well. So let's just skip this and look at what we have. So another copy of Zoya. Then your guarantee resets of course so that is it um once you get the one you the the um, get a s rank then it resets so that is it for your arrest let's go to a combat scenario guys and uh, let's see how the game you know is being played for those who haven't played the game or you know is trying to think about playing the game let's do one stage here um, by the way, the, the combat uh, feature or the combat section is kind of interesting. You, If you're not familiar with Ark Knights, so again, this is a tower defense um, strategy game, but with a twist. You can move your sinners around. So here, here are your uh, victory conditions. Survive for 120 lose zero san zero san is actually damage to your um your chief so we have a vacancies of four deploy four so let's do a let's start this okay before we go to starting this so you have to check out the number of mobs coming in so that is 15 this one, the three, is San. So San is the damage um, dealt to your chief, which is this one. So when that reaches zero, then you've lost the game. If you get hit once, you actually can clear it perfect. So you have to at least defend your chief there. Then 25 slash 25 is going to be the number of times you can move your sinners. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's see how everything goes. 
right now this is a stage going down in an elevator this is kind of weird because i'm already at i think chapter four so i have to move move people around so that i could reach them so th this is going to be weird because enemies just keep on appearing here so you have to make sure that you react well and move them to other places so that you won't be able to take much damage so once you this small circle here is actually a their ultimate so once that small circle circle is lighted then you can use their ultimate just click on the center then click on the ultimate then you can either redirect it the damage to a specific um enemy and let it lose or just click on it and for example the sinner will just do their thing so again this is a very complex stage here i didn't expect this to happen because <laughs> i don't know where these things are popping out so you just have to make sure that you are nimble enough to know there you go. We're good. Because the objective of this stage is just to survive. So skip. Okay. So let's go back to the um, chapter menu. For example, you didn't complete this completely. So a perfect clear. You can still do a multiple clear just to farm resources. That's what's good about this game. Um, free clears are the best in a game that you don't have to have a certain currency just to have free clears. And again, you don't have to clear a stage perfectly to raid multiple or one time. So again, best I think best feature so far in farming. And for our events, guys, let's go back to the main screen. So currently we have this event i don't know if you can still hop on this so this one will get you nox for free you can actually complete all of the tasks here this is um this is opening tomorrow the seventh day but i think you can still hop onto this you still have eight days to complete this event this one is logged rewards and i think this uh, the last one is a skin for emp uh what else surveillance order is also an event this is kind of your battle pass that um, either you purchase or you play it for free again there are a lot of rewards in this game i actually think that this game is free to play um there are a lot of farming re uh, farming opportunities here for content uh, almost all content that I've seen has um, farming for a hypercube, which you use for summoning. Even for sharing your your achievements, actually gets you hypercube. So again, this game is very very generous in terms of summon currency. Um, this one is your um, your premium currency that you have to buy, but this one already the hypercube already makes you do summon. So I would suggest that you don't use your your red cube, which is um, called ultra cube. Do not do not consume your ultra cube towards hyper cube. Just farm hyper cube to do your summons. Okay. So also take note that there is an assist mode, so that if you missed, uh, if you think you've missed a couple of um, couple of stages. This assistant will tell you what to do and probably um, point the way where you can do that thing that you missed. Um, my overall thoughts for this game, it's really a must play. Again, it's very, very free to play friendly. I don't have a problem with uh, looking for resources if I just want to finish something in terms of summons. Um, I can easily farm the hypercube 
for for your arrests so again a must play um you'll never you know you'll never uh, regret playing this game if you're thinking about it please do um play it and see for yourself um this game is similar to arc knight but arc knights but again it adds a layer in terms of um challenge in combat as 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 you've seen earlier um it's kind of same yet different from Mark Knights so I'll leave that to you guys or uh, if you like this or you like Art Knights better but for this I think the the layer of difficulty in moving around your sinners is actually a a, a very positive um, effect for me and if you love this game please do support it anyway guys so that is my um, first impressions of the game so comment down if you have been playing this game or you're thinking about playing this game or i've convinced you in playing this game so thank you very much guys for staying this far take care stay safe this is the warden and i'm out of here